Hey the Barriers, welcome to another episode of Unranked Diamond playing support only. Uh, we're around about gold 2, gold 1. I've kind of lost track of where we are in the rankings. Um, and recently we just posted a Vagar support game. Which if you are curious about, then I would recommend you watching that previous episode. But we are doing Zillion. Um, I thought that maybe we would be up against a Zerif, so I wasn't really too sure what to pick with an Ash AD carry. I'm more familiar with the Ash support rather than her playing uh, AD carry. I don't believe, honestly, she's that strong in the AD carry role. I think she's much stronger in the support role, honestly. Um, I think there's stronger AD carries that you can be playing, like uh, Draven, Samira, Jin, Caitlyn, but whatever. Uh, we're up against a Kaiser Nautilus. So the Nautilus was picked after a tick took Zillion, which is still fine as long as we don't get caught off. If we're the ones that not on, if I'm not being focused, then that's fine because that means I can just whack ulti down on someone who is getting Nautilus ulti, whoever's getting Rengar jumped on or whatever. Um, so it's still doable down here. I think uh, we've also got a lot of slows and speed on our team. We've got Annie shield, we've got my speed up, we've got my slows, we've got Ash slows. Um, we don't have so much. Okay, I was going to say, we don't just have so much like hard crowd control, but we, we do have bits here and there. We've got the Annie stun. Um, we've also got Zillion bombs, but and we've got Ash arrow. So we do have a few things. So I was going to say we didn't have too much, but we, we kind of do have a few pieces here and there. Um, but I think the main thing of our team composition is the speed ups and the slows. Um, I think in terms of overall raw damage, um, we're not the highest damage output team in the world. Uh, but not the worst, so it's not too bad. I think the enemy team definitely has... Uh-oh. More damage, and I somehow missed that bomb, which is a bit of a seed. Not just we'll look for another hook onto that ash. And you will find it. Just exhausting the Kaiser straight away there, just in case she flashes forward. So we've already had to... Trade my exhaust. Huh. Snorsis is just finding all the hooks there. Eh? Care flash. Um, but yeah, not a great start, is it? Ash missed XP at some point. That passive is going to do nothing. Take rewind for bomb stun. We still got heal on Ash. She used flash though. <clears throat> Norsa still has summoner, so he could flash forward her. There isn't a whole lot I can do about it. Wave is at least pushing in towards us. Okay, Norsa's hook is now going to be on a decent chunk of cooldown. A little bit of harassment onto the Kaiser. She still has a health potion though, and who died? Our jungler. Okay. Just to still reach in for a play. We'll keep doing bombs. He just uses his W to mitigate it. It's a mana trade, but overall, I'm getting stuff for it. I'm getting spell thieves. So it's not too bad. Better do level three. There we go. Cashed in some of that bottled XP. Don't know where Nautilus is. I think he warded that brush. He warded definitely somewhere down here. This could be an interesting fight. Okay, Kaiser Flash. Got a Zerath here too. That bomb might be enough. I think Annie Flash for it. One thing that was took me that entire fight, right, is that I had smart cast, no smart cast on my E. But yeah, I don't know, I don't, okay, I probably shouldn't have died there. Um, but Annie didn't need to flash secure the Nautilus. He was going to die to the bomb and then her flashing forward there let the Rengar kind of put him in deep range from the brush. I wonder if she has flash still for that fight. We actually get a lot more than that. 
Um, so yeah, overall not too great. Kaiser's on two kills now, and they're going to keep looking to hammer us in here. But I could have done better in that fight if I had my smart cast on my E. Then I maybe we get one extra kill actually if I do manage to get smart cast off my E. Maybe. Don't know where Nautilus is. Do like three points and bomb and then we'll max like the uh, the speed up. Do we have wards? Ash has a ward. Managed to get the cannon XP. Ash, can you please use your ward? Thank you. One of the downsides of my bombs is that if I do throw it on them, they will probably move it into their own wave to help like push it in towards us. Like towards their own turret, I mean. To make us overextend. Okay. Yeah, we're in a really, really, really bad spot. They can kind of destroy us. She's already messed up. She kind of like did an auto attack and then like cancelled it and then instead of just running away. Like I sped her up straight away. Okay, Zarafuse is ulti. I'll grab some cooldown reduction boots and a control wood. Alright, that was a light, like, nice little kill that we got there. Cost me my flash. Ash is getting dope here though. It's a failed dive. Zin's coming down. Oh, boo, that Tara hit! Okay. Him. Oh, Kaiser just hit six though, and she just landed W onto the Ash. Trying to speed up the Zen here. Okay, we speed up Ash instead. Okay. A little bit of a bounty. We can maybe do. Um, Dragon. And he just died mid. Okay, Ash just got Arrow now. That's pretty significant. I think we definitely should be able to get this dragon. Oh, Ash is in trouble. Um, okay. I mean, Ash still had ulti and had heal. I don't get it. I don't get why she's dying. Maybe Ash can fire out an arrow from base. She ain't gonna. This Ash is um kind of griefing the game, if I'm honest. As I said, like I don't think Ash AD carries that great, but I mean, even just normal stuff, she's not even doing that well. Like she shouldn't be dying one v one to the north. This under turret with heal, with ulti. It's just not good enough. The way is always the same. Yeah, wave state is going to be rough here now. Anytime Nautilus lands a hook, they get a kill. Enemy 
has been slain. Nah, she's dead. Right. Oh, the summon Ares saved her life. Right, Kaiser used here. There's a lot of people down here, though. Okay, cool. Okay, I didn't panic ulting myself too early there, otherwise I wouldn't have been able to uh, use that once they came back again under turret the second time. And also my airy saved Ash's health from that last tick of Ignite. Okay. Wow, look at the mid laners. That is a risky game that Annie's playing, honestly. Since pushing this wave in anyway. Oh, there's a controller in here. Right, so the game plan is is just try not to get too tilted to Ash. I, I don't think I'm gonna bother using my XP on the Ash. I might save it for Annie. I've got ulti, but this is not really a fight that I want, if I'm honest. And also just took a turret shot there for free. Okay, cool. That was pretty good for us. Try to make it so that the Rengar would get stunned by that slow is just massive. Alright, that's a Rengar kill. And also, Zerath died to Annie. They do get the turret though. Um, yeah, I'm gonna save up my bottled XP for like the Zin or the Annie because those are the ones that are gonna carry this game. Like Ash, it doesn't really need the extra level ups. Um, we'll get our Shurias and then we'll move back out into the field. Yeah, that slow was really, really good at Rengar. I tried to do like the like, set up a bomb on myself and then like do another bomb, but I couldn't really risk that messing up and when I could just get a guaranteed like really nice slow onto the Rengar then. It looks like Nautis is already trying to move around. Try and come up to Annie here. 30 seconds still on plates. Okay, this is not good. No, Tibbers went off. And yeah, the Annie's damage wasn't as high as I thought it would be. That was bad. Oh, we got the dragon, but Zin will probably die to the Kaiser? That's really close. So we just lost three people on the map. My ulti wasn't ready. Probably focused a little bit too much on Nautilus there. Like Annie just has a Rylai's. She's got like a bit of utility, and that's like even more slows for us, but like um, in terms of actual raw damage there, it, we, we just didn't have enough to get through that Nautilus. And he's on her way. Trying to speed up the Annie here. Uh, I think she could have maybe played off that. She says she doesn't got ulti, but I don't know. I think we could have got... I don't know if we would have got a kill, but... Would have been a decent chunk of raw damage. Ow. Okay, 
Zareth doesn't have all team. Trying to find Avenue and Annie to, to play and maybe get a kill on the Zareth again. Does she flash forward for that? Is Zareth the Kaiser? The amount of slow what is this Ash Flash though? Uh the amount of slows there was just ridiculous. But Rengar went in and he just couldn't move. Also Kaiser wasted her flash. Maybe she just thought I didn't have my ulti up. I got a lot of bottled up XP here as well, 374 XP. Which is like a third of my level at level nine. Nice that we've got a Herald. Let's see if we can try and chip out this turret. Now, Okay, Zareth starting to hurt. Plus, I guess I didn't really have that much health to start off with. Alright, we killed the Vayne on the top side of the map. Who's going to go and answer this bot lane, though? I just want more cooldown reduction. I think we'll do Cosmic Drive. Just the movement speed as well, I think, would be quite nice. Let's I'm just trying to work out who is going to go onto this Annie. There's a dragon in 1 minute 30. I kind of want to get some pre ward prep there. Oh, I'm here. So Zareth is the one who's trying to answer the Annie. Okay, we've got full control of the bot side. There's a dragon again in one minute. Nice. It gave me a lot of XP as well. Thirty seconds until uh, dragon. Got a lot of good vision around here. She missed her tibbers though. Okay, we're five saves is in. Oh, this could be a really, really good push. I mean, we're going to get a dragon anyways, so didn't go for it, but. He missed all of his ult chance. Ow. Right, we'll get out of there. Garen died to the vein. Nick's trying to come for this dragon, but it should be fine. Alright, that was a really, really good map control that we had there. Okay, we lost a tier 2 turret and a Garen top, but we got a lot from mid. We got tier 2 mid. We got this nearly tier 3 turret. We got third dragon. We got... I think we got like a couple of kills there too. I think we killed uh, two people. So in terms of like everything there, we, we got a lot for only losing like something a tiny bit. Um, we, just, we do need to factor in though that this Garen... Why can't... Thanks. <laughs> um... We do need to factor in that, like, Garen isn't really going to be that great in fights. 
he's pretty far behind. And once his Vayne starts joining in, we we kind of need to respect that. So this 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 next fight over Dragon, if we don't get a couple of picks beforehand, could end up being a little bit tricky. I'm gonna whack a control word at the uh, the Baron pet. We need to kind of cause a little bit of panic here. If they, oh, he's already done that. There's in one step ahead of me. Oh, hi, Mr. Ringar. So we caught out Pfizer. I'm just doing ward prep and there's already stuff going on. Okay, well I mean that's in here then I think. Vayne's coming out from here and gonna ward behind us. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> She's not really got nowhere to go. I've got my exhaust here for Rengar. Okay, we can go Baron. I can give egg speed to Garen. I'm gonna get a level 11 up. A level up from this. I'm up to 500 HP, I didn't mama out like that. Oh, all the extra money from pinging, huge. <laughs> I might go Wardstone here, since I got 1100. Wardstone. Not quite level 13 yet. Once we can get rid of some of this XP, we only need like one full level in order to activate that. Don't really get too much from it not being upgraded. Okay, we'll give it Zin the XP. One level away from level 16 ulti. Should be pretty powerful once he hits that. That's the kind of good thing about Zin. You get to choose. You get to bot the like the extra XP. Like if someone is playing really badly on your team, you can just opt into like not giving it to them. This Ash is taking way too much damage already. Mm, we don't win. We, we need to hard engage. We need the Annie. Annie doesn't have Tibbers. Oh boy. Okay, Zeref ulti for my ulti. It's not the best. I don't know. It's not a great trade. I can't really trust the Ash to dodge the stuff though. I don't like that Tibbers. Speeding up Garen here. Rengar altered somewhere. They surrendered. Alright, good. I mean, that was a generally, like, uh, apart from the first kind of, like, deaths in bot lane, apart from that, it was kind of a solid, um,. It was kind of a solid game from my perspective. I think Ash made a lot of mistakes. Um, I made a mistake on my first death. Like, I don't think I needed to die under the turret. It would have been a close one, but I, I think I could have survived it if I wasn't so tilted. My Smartcast E not working. Every time I play Vega, man, I take the cage off Smartcast because I can't Smartcast his cage. And that happened That happened to me. Um, I did a Vega support game on my Diamond account yesterday or the day before. And then I was like, next game, I think it was, I can't remember who it was, and I just like got thrown off at the fact that I didn't have smart cast on my E. It's, uh, it's a bit of a tilter. I wish you could um, set it and assign it to um, like individual champion loadouts, the hotkey stuff. But hey, we hit plat 4 in the series, so it was gold 1, and uh, yeah, we hit plat 4. Very cool. Uh, it's taken 40 games in total. Uh, I don't think I've done 40 episodes of this because we've I haven't uh, uh, uploaded a couple of like really like tilting games. We've had a couple of ga episodes where like unfortunately the video footage was corrupted. So I think we've uh, I've uploaded 30 out of 40 of the gameplay videos. So this is episode 30. I've done 40 games. I think two of them were corrupted game files, which were wins, uh, which sucks. 
Um, and then I think like eight of them were just like not worthy of showcasing on on YouTube and wasting you guys time. So um, as you guys know, I don't just upload wins. Uh, I upload uh, losses occasionally. I don't care if it's a loss as long as it's a good quality loss. No one wants to watch uh, my team getting slaughtered um you know at five minutes and then people rage quitting afk and base name calling i mean it's the same way the opposite way as well you wouldn't see the name calling this stuff necessarily if i was the winning team uh but no one really wants to watch a game where it's just like okay well we've won it like 10 minutes and then it's over so i do try to avoid uploading those games where i can um I will be streaming um, after this. Once I've uploaded this and sort of this for YouTube, I'll be streaming on twitch.tv slash Bizzleberry. Be, be sure to come and say hi. Um, Wild Rift stuff. I'm still trying to do that as much as I can. It's not as often as this series, as this series is my priority. Um, but yeah, I will try and keep up the Wild Rift stuff as much as I can. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content that I'm doing. And um, yeah. All the best, take care, and see you tomorrow for another video.